Well, it's been a while since I've been back here. It's been a long winter. Had to bring a wheel back here because I'm trying to find uh, modern rims that'll fit this old car. But I don't know if y'all remember. Last summer I had to head off and uh, got some valves on stuck that were stuck in this motor. Put the head back on and got everything straightened up here but uh, the wiring in this old car is pretty rough and there's a short somewhere in the ignition system so I'm going to uh, basically hot wire this thing here at some point get her started up because I'm going to have to redo all the wiring uh, just no way around it I did put a new coil in and I rigged this plastic gas tank up out of an old riding mower to give it a temporary gas feed because the old gas tank's bad on her. But I think the weather's going to be changing here, and I'm going to get at and uh, get this thing fired up. And then I got to put the brakes on it. I got everything to redo the brakes except on the uh, lines. I got the bender, I got the flare kit, everything. Wheel cylinder kits, new brake shoes. So we're gonna get brakes on the old girl if we get her fired up. Been a lot of years since this thing driven down the road on its own power. But we're gonna get her there. Got a big old go-kart behind it I gotta get out of here. I wanna get rid of. That way I can wheel this a little farther back and have more room around the front end to work. But this old 1938 Plymouth I bought many years ago. And I've kept a hold of this thing all these years. I ain't mean, got it in my mind to get rid of it now. Might as well fix it. Hey, we'll see you in the next video. We'll get into something. Maybe it'll even be trying to get this thing fired up. Uh, the other one coming up is I put a bunch of tools in the old... Uh, Carpenter's Toolbox, so look forward to that one.